Hey guys, today I want to go ahead and talk about uh, solving the multi-step linear inequalities. It's the same process as solving the linear equations, except that you must, you must, you must reverse this inequality anytime you are multiplying or dividing by a negative. That's the only thing. Okay, so remember, we're taking into consideration PEMDAS, okay, the order of operations. Now anytime you have a problem like this, you want to go ahead and simplify it. And if you notice, you have this 6, or actually this negative 6, right next to the parentheses. And that means you have to multiply. So I'm going to go ahead and distribute so just so I can combine like terms and make it nice and neat. Okay, so remember, uh, in the order of operations, some students think, oh, negative 3 minus 6, oh, that's negative 9. No. You have to do multiplication division. So here, I'm going to leave the negative 3 alone. I'm going to multiply negative 6 times 4x is negative 24x. Negative 6 times positive 6 is negative 36. And that's greater than 11, negative 11. Now when I get to this point, I want to go ahead and try to combine anything that I can. And if you notice, you have negative 3 and negative 36. When we combine those two, I will get negative 39. So I'm going to write negative 24x minus 39. Okay? Because remember, there's a minus in front of the 3, a minus in front of the 36. Now that I've simplified my inequality, now I can go ahead and start to solve it. I'm going to undo things first. Remember, we're going to undo addition subtraction first. So I notice that I have a minus 39, so that becomes a positive 39. And remember, what you do on one side, you do on the other. This becomes eliminated or simplified. So we have negative 24x is greater than. Now here, negative 11 plus 39, we're going to subtract because they have different signs and we're going to have a positive 28 okay now we're going to go ahead and divide because remember this is multiplication to undo it we're going to divide both sides okay negative 24 divided by negative 24 it's a positive 1 now remember you notice here we're dividing by a negative so we have to reverse the inequality okay and then we're going to go ahead and simplify this. So 28 and 24. And let's go ahead. Divide by 4. So this becomes 7 over negative 6. Actually, we cannot have a negative in, in the denominator. So it goes, you can either put it on the side or on the top. Okay. And this becomes negative 1 and 1 sixth. Okay? Either of these is correct, whatever your teacher prefers. Alright guys, let's go ahead and do uh, another problem. Alright guys, uh, let's go ahead and do number 2. Uh, and you notice here, a lot of students make a mistake here. They see, oh, 6 minus 4 is 2. And they want to take care of this first. But remember, order of operations tells us that we have to, have to multiply first okay there's no exponents inside the parentheses we cannot combine any like terms so the next thing is multiply or we're going to distribute so we're going to get negative 4 times 6n is negative 24n negative 4 times positive 7 is a negative 28 greater than or equal to 122 now that I've done that, let's go ahead and try to combine. So we have this 6, it's a positive, minus 28. So 6 minus 28, and that is going to give us negative 22. Okay, remember 6, take away, minus, uh, take away 28. You can always think about it as money. You have $6 and they want to take away 28, they can't, so you got to owe 22. All right, now that I've simplified my inequality, now I begin to undo things. Okay, I'm going to undo addition. That becomes plus 22. Very good. That simplifies to a zero. 
negative 24n is greater than or equal to 144. Nice. Now remember we have multiplication. We have to undo multiplication, so we divide by 24. Negative 24. Negative 24 divided by negative 24 is a positive 1. We're dividing by a negative, so we have to re reverse the inequality. And then 144 divided by negative 24 should give you a negative 6. Okay? Negative 6. And that would be your solution. Okay, guys? Let's go ahead and do one more. All right, guys, our last problem. And I like this problem because a lot of students, uh, they actually have a lot of questions. They get confused with this one. Now, remember, we don't have to distribute anything. I don't see any parentheses. Uh, what I do notice is this whole problem here is division. So I have to undo my division. Okay? Yeah, you see a 3x minus 6, but this represents a whole number. Uh, over here okay but in in effect this whole thing is division so I have to undo that with multiplication so I'm gonna multiply both sides by 3 I'm gonna do it the long way it's actually 3 over 1 same thing over here okay and the reason this problem is important is because our rule with reversing inequalities okay 3 and 3 that is going to eliminate or simplify to a 1 3x minus 6 now be careful because a lot of students think oh it's a negative you have to reverse the inequality no you only reverse the inequality when you're multiplying by a negative okay you see this 3 on the bottom if this was a negative 3 multiplying times the negative 4 yes you reverse it but no I'm multiplying by a positive 3 I'm multiplying by a positive 3. So you, you do not need to reverse the inequality. Okay. Now that we've simplified this, it becomes very easy. Uh, okay. Now we have to undo addition subtraction first, which is a positive 6 on both sides. This simplifies 3x less than negative 6. Now that we have that, this is multiplication. We're going to go undo that. We're going to divide. We're not dividing by negative, so our sign, our inequality, does not change. Negative 6 divided by negative, by positive 3 is negative 2, and that is your solution. All right, guys? So try to simplify the problem as much as you can. Try to combine like terms. And then, remember, you're going to undo addition subtraction first, then undo uh, multiplication division. Okay? And just as a rule, anytime you have a fraction, just go ahead and cross multiply, just to get rid of uh, the fraction. Okay? And remember, the bottom has to be a negative in order to change the inequality. All right, guys. Hopefully that helps. Send me an email if you have any questions. Good luck.